Even though I'm known as the strategy guy, I really believe at the end of the day a lot of what I teach comes down to expectation management. When I was playing professional golf, I was a bit of a lunatic and missing an 8-foot putt would probably send me into orbit. But at the end of the day, an 8-foot putt on the PGA Tour is 50-50, meaning it takes an average of one and a half strokes to hole out from 8 feet. Here I've got an 18 footer on the 18 an 8 footer rather on the 18th green at TPC Summerlin. And if I make this putt, hopefully I've moved the ball one and a half strokes closer to the hole in one stroke. I, in essence, gained a half a stroke with that shot. If I had happened to two putt it, I would have moved it one and a half strokes closer to the hole in two putts. I would have, in essence, lost a half a stroke. So now, because of Mark Brody's brilliant work with strokes gained, we know that it takes one and a half strokes to hole out from eight feet. Well, here we are at 100 yards in the fairway. And on the PGA Tour, it takes players an average of 2.8 strokes to hole out from here. So if I know it takes me an average of 2.8 strokes to hole out from right here, and I hit my shot, hopefully to eight feet, but unlikely, Oh, I might have done it. Looks like I actually hit it to about eight feet. I've now moved it from a spot where I should average 2.8 strokes to hole out and put it to a spot where I should average 1.5 strokes to hole out. I've in essence moved it 1.3 strokes closer to the hole in one stroke. That shot would have thus gained me 0.3 strokes against the field.